All right. Good evening or good night or good morning. We do a end of day review for today. Repeat late. So let let uh, get right into it. I mean, look at the calendar. Right, it's today is a crazy. I don't know crazy. It's a wow and volatile move. Or if you look from a opportunities or from a positive or growth mindset, you can say that today is a wonderful day because it brings opportunity, right? Because we all trade, we want the market move, right? And it move. It's huge move today, uh, Friday. We kind of under the, underestimate the move of today. But the market source is, is, is oh wow. The reason that's because of, you know, um, the Fed chair, uh, Jerome, Jerome Powell, he speak at 10.05 a.m. So basically that's how the market react to his statement. So it's a lesson learned for, for, for us. So every time he speak, the market is, is react to his space. That's amazing how the algo is run, it's programmed to um, to react to his statement. We still don't know how, how, how I mean, I, I, I'm thinking all the time, I, uh, I, I try to digest the program that run the stock market. How does how did it move? How did it react to the certain, you know, uh, statement? It seemed to me like it's a, a human, right? It's like a hu emotional right there. A giant move. I thought it's a program. It's supposed to be that emotion, right? It's not moving. But actually it's move. So that's the paradox right there. So that's the, the mystery that we are on the journey to, to find out right there. Okay, so look at the overall move today is it's move up around three dollar right or oh, seventy percent. Let's take up note of that. So right so it's move uh seventy Point seventy zero percent, and let's check. Uh, wow, that's a huge volume. I mean, if you look at the volume indicator here right, or label in this case, I mean the thinker or swim platform. They call this a label. So we put a label right there. The volume. That's mean daily volume right there, and this is the average sixty day volume. So it's the every city their volume is about seventy six million share for the spy. Right? Spy is a tinker that we are we are trading right now. So that's why we monitor the volume to see you know how much share was you know were traded on particular day right there. So we see that the volume is 88.5. So it's almost, you know, more than 10,000 share trade today. And no wonder the markets move like that because market love the what? Liquidity, right? Transaction. That's all the money they make because the the company run their the stock exchange, they are the middleman. They just collect the transaction fee. Whenever the buyer and the sell execute the order, they pay for the fee and they the one who collect the fee. That means that the more transaction in this case is the more share of stock is trading, the more money they make. 
So that means the algo, or in this case, application. I mean, the algo is just a overloaded term right there, but basically it's the app, the, the application, the computer application that run this uh, this stock uh, market. In this case, is the spy, you know, product. So when you write a program and the purpose of the program, right? Because when you write a program, you design your program, you have to have a function for that program to, to accomplish, right? Let's say in this case, you write a program and the whole purpose of this program is maximize the transaction. Or in other words, cyclically, it go for where it have the most liquidity. Because when it go there, it will trigger a lot of you know order to execute. Right? It has to match. It has to match the share order with the buy order. In other words, it match the ass with the beast. So basically, it matches the best offer and the best bid together. So that's the fundamental behind uh, the liquidity that we are trying or we are on the journey to understand it. Um, and we just start our journey. Um, we understand it. Um, little more little more every day we take a very very conservative approach we just go easy we just go slow and steady that's the the approach that we choose to do uh, because we don't believe that uh, in trading you need to rush you need to slow things down because the more you slow, the better um, you will see how the market operates. Because when you rush, um, your emotion take over you. But when you slow, the, slow it out, you less the subconscious um, take over you. We gotta sub your subconscious connect um, into the market in a way that you you don't know. That's the reason why we do very slow, because we want to train our subconscious to see the market, and let the subconscious do the trade for it instead of we let the the conscious, the mind of logic, uh, do the trade for us. Because the the concept it have the emotional have emotional in there, and the emotion will be a roadblock for us. So that's an idea behind you know we try very slow we start slow, just start slow, and then when we succeed we can scale up. That's um, that's the way we we do. So a little bit self-talk right there. To look back at the trade we take today, just one trade we take for this week, right? We go in at the we go in at the nine fifty and we get out of the nine fifty five. Maybe we get stopped out. Okay, let's look at the one minute to see how we get into this way and um, and how we what lesson we learned on this trade. Like I say before, I will say again that we are building a trading system for us. This trading system will, will only successfully 
right? Why only successfully? Because it never fails. We never fail. So even though today they say the tree is not success, but we not fail. You know why? Because we learn a lesson. And it, the market only provides us only two, two feedback, right? That look is symbol, binary, right? Because the computer behind the thing is just binary, zero and one. We human, we use language, a very high level language. And then that language translate into very low language, very low language, computer code, right? That machine code, zero and one. So that's the image right there. So that's the the comparison I want to compare. But let's keep it short. That basically, it's mean that when you, we execute the trade, we place the trade. The market only the market provide to us only two feedback okay the first one is easy right it's win you put in you win right win in the case that you make some money right the second one is you lost right and you lot in the sense that you know um it go negative right here in this case we lost it lost 20 cents right however if we turn if we look from different perspective it's not a loss it, even though it's a fin financial loss but we look at that as a lesson that we learn right? it's another feedback we and we let look at the feedback the market gives us then we go back that's which why we, we we journal and we go back to improve improve our trading system so actually if we look on that perspective the loss even better for us because it provides a feedback Sometimes we're going to win, we forgot, right? We win, so we forgot about that. We say, oh, I'm winning. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to go back to, um, you know, to look at your tray. It's win, forget about it. But with the loss, it gives you a more um, reason to to look back at that tray and, and find out how you play that tray so you learn more. So basically, idea you know the idea that the market provide always provide a feedback, right? The first feedback is we succeed on that trade, which is second on that trade. The second feedback is that it gives us the lesson we need to improve. Basically, the improvement. So the market. Basically, it's a win-win solution for us. It never a loss for us. That's the point that I try to make sure that we all drive home. So basically, mar the market always provides feedback for us, and it's a win, win and win. You succeed financially, you win, but when you lost, it also the win because it provides you a feedback. And what you want to do with that feedback? You want to go back and improve your trading system. Next time, we do better. It just, it just, it just science, right, right, right. It just nothing, nothing, you know, complicated. So the more lesson you learn, um, the better your system gonna be, be become and and it more resilient, right there. However, here the trick, right? In order to to succeed, or in order, you know, humanly speaking, um, in order for us to persevere through our trial and error, we have to give ourselves enough room 
uh, to to make an error right there in this case or to make an uh, improvement and enough room in the sense that um, in term of in term of time right if you you give yourself three months six months I think it's too much right there I think we have to give ourselves like, three years just to learn and to be efficiency with in and our market right that's just the mechanic of the market you know read the liquidity understand liquidity all the you know market structure power of tree right manipulation accumulation manipulation and distribution right there i think that's key i think four um four key right there is the market structure in general and then you understand the liquidity how they trap the liquidity how they rate the liquidity or so-called stop run versus my structure and then the imbalance or the efficiency of markets right those three core concept right there then the rest it just becomes second nature right there right and when you give yourself enough room to be make errors or to, to enough room to learn and grow right there then you you be success that's no way you fail right it's like one blood one equal two it's always equal two right there so if we do it the right way with the right mindset we be success we don't have to compete with anyone else that's that the mindset we try to be right there we create our own success our own wealth right creative wealth right there creative wealth right there. we create our own we don't compete with anyone we don't compete with the market neither we we, we trade the markets um, um, above fear right we love the markets and the markets love us so we should treat markets as a part of us we completely in, in harmony with the markets we understand the markets we feel the markets and the markets feel us so when we are parked on the market and market park of us then it's like uh, take two to tango so we got completely in sync with the market right there so when we come back to to the idea not come back to the notion that we all give our room to to roll so but two two factor in there right the first factor is the time and the second factor is the size of of, of we trade so when we start uh, that's just right now we only trade one share right we only trade one share but for this uh, account and for this platform um, when we trade long it's allowed to trade long but when we trade short it does allow us to trade short so the work around for it right now when we short we have to use option to short them it's crazy they allow you to do short option but they don't like to short uh you know uh, <coughs> directly stock so let's yeah <laughs> so basic the two factor right at the time give you the time and in order to to do with the time we have to reduce the size so that's the two decision we we we, uh, we we do what we do right right now we do very tiny size because we don't want the emotion or the fear of mixing out take control of us when we put out the side too much at the beginning that's the human nature right there okay now let's look at the trade we take today and see how we can 
internalize what our thought process, right? I think look down at look a little bit deeper on a one minute time frame. We can see how we are pull the trigger at that moment. And you know what? Let's do this much easy, right? Okay, let's first turn on the show tray. Okay, so right here, right here. So what the idea? Okay, let look, let pretend that um, go back to that moment. I think we did the first hour video. You know, uh, you can watch back. I did watch back a little bit, and I can see the reason why I took the trade. So let look right here, right? Let block whatever uh, after that. Okay. Okay. So Okay. Also let me turn on the fair value indicator right now so it will be easier to see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so okay, let's be fair to ourselves, right? So let's see. We enter right here at fifty four. So let's see, let's see what we have, what we put into our journal. Well, we saw that the London High was taken, right? London High right here, it was taken. So we thought that that is the market structure ship. It's not a liquidity rate or is a uh, stop run that is our um, thinking at that moment right we put in here what's that what is 260 hmm hmm very interesting yeah right there so we're thinking that is a And also we're thinking that, you know, yesterday, uh, Thursday, it fit into the profile, Thursday is a reversal day. Oh, 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 reversal day in the sense that it's gonna go down. So that means we take a long trade is opposite with the overall. Wow, that's the lesson we learned right there. So lesson learned right here and also lesson learned. Oh okay. Another lesson learned for us is that Voice is that uh, Thursday reversal day, which is basically doubt move, right? Then I mean, it's a big, big down move.
hit, hit down low. Then we should not engage in long position in the IM. Don't do that. That's the last time we done. Because that's the down move finish is is course. You know, it, it needs to finish another life down right there. We should engage only in the PM section. If we want to engage long position right there. If you want short, then short in the morning. And rather than get out. Right? But if you want to engage long, we have to wait. So that's the lesson we learned. The second lesson. Let's see what is the lesson learned we learn right here. Oh, we learn another building lesson. But before that, let's go to the very first instant that um, when we take the tray. Okay, so we take the tray at the moment we take the screen shot at you know 945 right we enter at 944 oh and then at 945 is a i think it's a very legitimate trade even though it's unsuccessful trade but we do what we're supposed to do you see that we have the Uh, so called bullet breaker right here, Fabregas. Yeah, I think we we mix red right here, but anyway, uh, we learn from that, right? Uh, our bearish bullet breaker, Fabregas, retest, right? It's retest, and we saw the make a lower low high low high so it's a buy side liquidity trap right there and then it keep hit a low low that is a sell side liquidity rate right there so it rate the sell side liquidity so we believe that we're gonna go up that's our symbol belief right there or at this our system right now now we have to improve this system you know why i just learned one more thing right here I, when i look at this picture this bullish breaker is not reliable you know what it's a down move right you only see this a bullish breaker reliable if it is an up move understand after I take the sell side liquidity, buy side liquidity, look at that. So this bullish breaker right here, after that make it, it make a move, right? Um, so let's do this, right? So you do this so we can on the same page. So basically, right here is not a good. I mean, at that, at that moment, we read, we read this at the bullish breaker. But now we look back, we we see that that is a an error in our uh, trading system. We need to improve the errors in the sense that the bullish breaker is not cow a, 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 a good bullish breaker not every bullish breaker is a bull not only swing high is a bull reliable you know bullish breaker we just simply believe that but now it turned out that we need that's an error we make um, that our trading system make right there uh, so we have to improve our trading system Remember, we be in a trading system. Um, we have to separate ourselves from the trading system. We need to improve that. Um, to improve the trading system. 
we the one who operate our trace system and we improve right here so if it's a swing high and it take out the shell shallow really in this case then uh, when it go up and then it retest here this swing high here then this swing high will be a more reliable body breaker you see that you, you see but this in this case this is a down move a down move this is become a what a short for you instead of of of, of bullish breaker right it become a down move right there so that's the thing that we need to put into our trading system right here so the lesson learned tip the lesson not lesson learned first beautiful right there I tell you market provides a beautiful lesson learned so there's no loss at all it's just another opportunity to improve our trading system lesson the the uh, identify right identify the one that we identify right identify uh bullish breaker uh breaker block right so in this case a minor is not a reliable one because is in the now move oh. let's keep it simple right now oh. so for now to keep that is it not available is in the down move right in other words the one with the up move the more reliable oh uh, uh sorry bullish should be the plus sign or in the up move okay so you had to make sure that market structure is cheap so it's become I resist the the spot level right there wow that's beautiful that's beautiful lesson we learn okay and here come back to the other lesson we learn right here there's the one of the key lessons we learn so basically we will learn a little key lesson and this is one of the most critical lessons we learn I, I mean we, we can we try to improve our trading system right so when we have a we learn the new lesson we learn the new information we update our system we keep updated make it better and when we learn a new thing the old thing maybe no longer valid then we update them so just thinking about that way so we don't feel um just doing a mechanic level right there so we don't we, we remove uh our sense of right or wrong out of that we don't have to be right we don't have to be right we can be wrong and make money just just um, whenever mm, whenever whenever the market provide opportunity to improve then to improve no worry about oh that means I'm wrong don't worry about that 
Okay, so in this case, you see that we identify this manipulation move right there. It's AMD right here. So this is a fellow swing high. I think this may not be correct. I have to take a look again, but basically it's the to me it's like a buy sell or trap, right? It makes a lower high. That means it trap this buy sell liquidity right there. However, how come it's rate the sell sell liquidity? Then that means the imbalance right there is gonna go and, and wrap the wheel right here, right? The only logic for this to break, you have to break the sell sell liquidity and then come down this way. But it did not, so it's a preliminary. I mean, that's what we are thinking right now. If we receive more information, we then we apply, update our logic. But our logic right now is, is say that in order to take this by salary query, you have to make take the by salary in order to take the sell salary. But in, in this case, it did not take the by salary query. It trapped the vice area and then it go down and takes us out of way. Then we identify this is a manipulation move, and we hear fiber notches, fiber notches extension, and we extend it. So uh, that means when it retests about fifty percent, hit fifty percent, then we can go long. And look at it. In this case, it go up. You know, I think two and a half standard deviation right there. So that the third lesson we learn. Anyway, I want to cover more, but we're in our time, so uh, we should conclude here. All right, thank you. Have a good night and uh, happy trading. Bye for now.